Besties. So what I'm working on today is personalized napkin. I created this PNG file here in Photoshop mainly because um, I know there is a way but Photoshop gives a few extra options when you're creating a file like if I wanted to change this little swirly thing on the S I could do so um, I can make it go you know that way you can add so many um, other different things and I have seen that there's a way for you to do it um, in Cricut I just have not um, had the chance to upload that particular file yet so I went ahead and created it in in Photoshop so here's my PNG which I already transferred it to Cricut so here is my file already in my design space software I was asked to do napkins uh, several weeks ago somebody asked me on here if I could do napkins and I said yeah sure you know I'll research it uh, I bought everything that I thought I needed but I think I thought maybe too much into it so it wasn't until recently when somebody posted some on my Facebook group I was like oh yeah I have napkins that I can uh, you know try this out with so I will go ahead and go to make it I will mirror this because this is going to be heat transfer vinyl and I am also going to just select iron on as my material So I use this gold foil vinyl and this is uh, a product that I got from my local vinyl shop. going to use my petite press so I'm turning it on to a level four so I have my black napkin I got these from the 99 cent store I'm pretty sure they have them I mean they're just plain black napkins although I did get them a while back um, I did have another one and it has a foil these foil circles on it I would probably not choose to do these unless my clients specifically requested them. Reason being is when I did my test on these, and although they came out okay, if you look closely on certain uh, circles, they're just a little bit raised. And that's just because, you know, the foil um, was pressed down on there, so any heat will cause it to rise up. So when I redid this one, I did less pressure on those circles. So this one came out a little bit better, but I would just try to avoid something that already has any type of embellishment or anything like that on there already. I'm gonna use this Teflon sheet on the bottom just so it doesn't burn through my table. And then I'm just gonna use this um, that comes with the heat transfer uh, printable sheets. I'm gonna use that for my press. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick pass over on each part. I don't want to hold it there for too long. So I'm going to pass over and then I will see what, what I'm working with here. Okay, so it already is sealed down. So there is the napkin completely finished. It takes like less than a minute to do each one um, to press it on there. And you can actually use your heat press for this. Uh, you just, you know, you can't have those foil embellishments like this or it'll mess it up. If you have, you know, just plain 
napkins, then you can definitely, you know, use your heat press or your um, easy press or anything like that. And also, I had one. This was also a test print. This is the one I did first. So I wanted to just like, you know, get it wet, kind of um, crumble it up, sit a cup on it just to see how it would look. And it's it still hung on there pretty good. So I'm very impressed. I felt like I over, like seriously overthought it before when um, somebody previously asked me to do it. So. Thank you guys, as always, for your inspiration to me as well. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you, as always, for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.